right, I want to talk about spattering for a minute. I have two tools here that are, one is a giant heavy brush. Let's get you a little bit wider out here. One is a giant heavy brush and the other is a filbert comb brush. And it's cut so that if I, it's like a Santa Claus beard brush kind of thing. But um, they're not all created equally as I have discovered. So what I want to do is show you, what I'm doing is I'm mixing watery paint. Okay, and I'm fully loading the brush in the watery paint. Now if I were to just go up above and smack my brush on over my piece, then I would get a snow effect. Okay, so, but if I, let's do this as a whole piece of paper. Okay, so it's an eight, eight and a half by 11. So let me put a mark here, and then let me put a circle here. Okay, so that's a little, and that's bigger. Okay, now we'll go telephoto in. First we'll go if we want to do something big. Okay, if we want to spatter on something big. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise our, I can't see, sorry. We want to raise up, our, we have a, this piece for knocking against. And then I'm knocking right about the silver, the ferrule line. Okay, get that paint off there. <laughs> okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap right smartly over where I want the paint to fall. Okay, now one or two little dots escaped, but if we go in real tight, you'll see that this is like controlled spattering. Okay, so this is like there's a couple little dots here, a couple here, but for the most part, all of my dots landed right here in the middle. Okay, I've got a couple little spare ones, but now we'll do it right on the X and you'll see the differences can make. Okay, so now with this one, I'm going to lower this thing down so that, and I'm going to back it up so that my tips, the, the spatters are going to kind of fall onto that, so you've got to move it back just a little bit away from your X, like not right over the top. And then you can spatter exactly where you want to. X marks the spot. Look at all those spatters right on that little X. And to show you the scale, that's my pencil eraser. And with this great big Mondo brush, we managed to get those spatters right where we wanted them. Okay, you've got to have thin, liquidy paint. But here's what we're going to use this for. Okay, I want to start leading my eye around my piece using spatters. Okay, so I want these bright green spatters right here on the tip of this. And then I want to walk them out. Okay, so I can put spatters exactly where I want them. I don't have a big mess of spatters. I have one or two. Uh, that's okay, but I do have my concentration of spatters is right where I wanted it. Okay, I want maybe a couple on my leaf. There we go. And I love that look where they're just popping off the ends. So I would go through the piece. of our leaves and we add these little spatter pieces and maybe they could come off and so notice that I'm not I'm not going tap I'm okay let's do this be careful your spatters will stay wet I'm not going tap 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 I'm going one sharp tap and that's what gets you the effect you do not want to go you know tap 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 oh and if you want to do a trajectory this is important if you want to do a trajectory where you have like a spatters that go in a row, then you just march that out and you shove your brush in that angle as you're going, okay? And then they'll go poof, 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 like that. I had maybe just a little too much juice right there. However, that would be pretty in the right effect. 